Hey YouTube, I'm back. Um, I'm gonna look at another Glennis Grace video. Um, thank you guys for your comments and your subscriptions. And it seems like she's a hot topic, so I'm um, gonna do another one. And this song is "And I Will Always Love You." All right, so um, I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna tell you right now what I'm looking for and to be excited about because uh, I'm a believer now in Glennis Grace. Right, she's the real deal, absolutely. And to me, this song. First of all, we're not going to judge her like she's Whitney because she's our own person. But Whitney goes in and out of that falsetto and that voice placement with ease. Um, just want to see how good Glennis Grace does that um, on this song. Uh, tough song to sing, I think. There it is. Very nice. She took us into a world and y'all don't even realize it. So soft, so subtle. We there. There it is. Very nice. Oh, who's this old sax? Let's go. Two beautiful women just killing it. I love how she started this song. No timing, took her time, and just got us like into this place. Now we're just drawn into her. Mm. But above all this, I wish you love. And I always love you. That girl, you make me tear a little bit. There it is. And now that full to that first settle, that's not easy. Good stamina.
Wow. Absolutely. Let me say this. First of all, Glennis is the bad girl. And yes, she's doing a Whitney song, but if there's any parallel, it's on the strength and power that she has. One of the things that I've always loved about Whitney Houston is that she could sing a song and almost be perfect in her performance. I felt like this was also perfect in performance. Great pitch, right? She had a lot of power to be able to sing that kind of power and then go back to those high falsetto notes. That is not easy to do. And then there was like, you, you tell me, where did she crack? On a song like that, she didn't. That is hard to do. That's like taking somebody who runs track and, you know, you're running like 80 miles, you know, and you're running 80 miles nonstop at the same speed. Very, very tough to do. A lot of conditioning. Um, Glennis Grace, wow, girl, you're up there with all the best, you know. You know, Beyonce ain't got nothing on you. Whitney ain't got nothing on you. You... You're doing it. And for all young vocalists, like, no, no disrespect to what you're listening to with the R&B and the hip-hop music. You know, that's a genre. and You should listen to it, to everything. But if you're going to really study the art of singing, you should be listening to artists like this. I would definitely put her in my cachet to other young artists to say, hey, listen to a Glennis Gray song. Because there's so much to learn from that. Because, once again, like, you know, she's definitely a professional performance. And in the beginning, presence, right? You know, it's hard to teach. There's a difference of stage presence and presence. How she just started singing made you look at her. And to me, that's what presence does. Somebody walks in the room, you say, who is that person? She started singing, and you say, who's that singer? And she did it slow, took her time with it. She drew you into her. And then she exploded on the song. Once again, Linus Grace, two thumbs up. Listen, don't forget to subscribe. Again, Mr. Harris, RYC. I enjoy doing this, enjoy spending the time with you guys. And I'm going to put up some classes, as we mentioned, um, soon. But please subscribe. Hit the comments. You know, I forgot who it was, the comments. Say, hey, man, you talk too much, right? But well, that's what I'm here for, right? But I talk less that time, thinking about you. All right? Um, so continue to check me out. Appreciate it. Um, see you next video.